Oh man, another day and Bitcoin continues to pump. I'm still out here in Dubai enjoying the weather, a break from the gloomy London, London depressing weather, but Bitcoin is going crazy, $63,000. And do we actually think this is going to stop? I mean, we have to think about it, right? I just got a stat, stat sent by one of my team members that 10,500 Bitcoins were purchased yesterday by ETFs. Guess how many were mined? About 900. You can see the disparity between the supply and the demand. And this is going to be the main, main theme of this cycle. I mean, it's the theme of every cycle, right? The block rewards get reduced, but that reduces the supply side. This time we've got a meaningful big player on the supply, on the demand side, buying more Bitcoin. And this is leading to Bitcoin just showing tremendous strength, ignoring all structures of TA. I mean, sharing TA with you guys, but I mean, kind of cautious. I mean, saying, guys, I'm sharing the TA with you just in case it plays out. <coughs> And we can see the key levels of support, etc. But Bitcoin, when it's in this mood, I've said this plenty of times, when it's in this mood, it can go as high as the Burj Khalifa. It could just keep going. And right now, this is what the candlesticks look like. Bitcoin's just breaking through every single key level. I mean, it's already hovering close to that, you know, uh, early 2021 peak of that 64,000. Then it's going to want to break through 69,000. It's serious right now. There's serious FOMO in this market. There's serious greed. You guys need to be very, very careful, right? You don't want to sit out and not participate. I get that. But you also don't want to FOMO. There's a fine balance of you strategically entering the market versus just FOMOing. And right now, I mean, look, look at all these people here. Do you think all these people here actually, actually know crypto like you and I know crypto that we, you know, study it and we, tr we trade it, we accumulate it? You're early. And I think it's important to remember, sometimes you feel like you're not early, but you've got to remind yourself you are. If you go to the average person here and say, hey, send me USDT via TRC20, they can't do it. They can't. They can't do it. They're still holding cash. They're still wandering around. They don't understand how crypto is going to change their life. And every single time I'm at a dinner meeting with non-crypto people, I just remind myself, wow, we're really, really early. They don't even understand. They don't understand Bitcoin. They don't understand why it's so powerful, why cash, why the traditional fiat currency poses such a risk. And always the example I give them is, guys, if you think the money's yours from a bank, go ask to withdraw it. See how much headache they give you. Daily withdrawal limits? Then how can it be yours if you're given a withdrawal limit? If it's yours, you should just be able to go and take it but you don't own it, right? And I think the world is starting to switch onto this. And this is why there's such a big craze towards crypto. I think also you're facing unprecedented global inflation, right? It's, it's wreaking havoc across every single country. I know for some of us in the Western world, particularly in the US, they've dealt with it decently, right? Inflation has started to come down, but even then it's rearing its head at that kind of 4% level and they can't finish it off down to that 2% level. But other countries, I mean, I'm from UK and you're feeling it in, in Dubai. Things are much more expensive than when I was coming here a few years ago. If you imagine, you know, countries like Pakistan, where I was, uh, you know, where, where I'm a nation, uh, national of. Like Pakistan, the inflation gone crazy. India, it's crazy. Everywhere is crazy. And this is why people start to go, hang on, I'm losing purchasing power, right? I'm fundamentally losing purchasing power by being in fiat currency. And that's why we're starting to see this shift. And it's early. It is early. You've just got to be smart. You've got to be patient. You know, forget about what you can achieve in a day or two. Start asking yourself, what can I achieve over six months, nine months, 12 months, two years, three years? Have longer term horizons. Time goes quick, guys. I know some of you are in a rush to get that 1,000x, and I'm probably one of the few channels on here where I'm saying, guys, be pragmatic, be slow, be sustainable. There's no rush here. A year goes by quick, two years go by quick, and you can change your life. But if you keep trying to change your life today, as in like right today with that 1,000x, you're going to make short term decisions, and short term decisions are only going to mess you up. All right, so start thinking a little bit more strategically. Just engage your brain just a little bit more than the average person. The average person hears about Bitcoin and starts searching and panicking. If you're in our Telegram community, I posted an interesting, uh, I posted a really interesting uh, uh, search trend from Google, right? If you look at the Google search trend right now, you can see it's just gone crazy parabolic for Bitcoin. Everybody just suddenly started searching Bitcoin. You're seeing the search trends go up. Why? Because the average person is talking about it, right? I spoke to you yesterday and I said, I said the same thing. I said, guys, everybody's searching Bitcoin right now. Everybody's asking me what, what, what to do with Bitcoin. The taxi driver, Uber driver, barbershop, right? The average Joe's now going, okay, this thing's gone up again. It keeps proving people wrong. But remember, we don't want to be average. When those people didn't want to buy, that's when we're buying. And now those people want to buy, we need to be a little bit more strategic because the hands that are coming in right now are not as strong hands as those that were coming in before. It's important to remember that the hands that are coming in now, let me repeat that, are not as strong as the hands that were buying before because the hands that were buying before were stronger long-term hodlers. These are ones that are coming in on speculators, the tourists, right? Remember, when tourists come in, they come in for good weather. As soon as the weather gets bad, where do they go? They get out, they panic sell, okay? So be very, very careful. You can get a lot more volatility uh, to the upside, but also to the downside. Because as soon as there's a little bit of a dump, they do panic and sell. Because you imagine if you're someone buying now at 63,000 who doesn't really know much about Bitcoin, you've asked a friend and the friend said, yeah, Bitcoin's going to the moon. And this guy buys in a bunch of Bitcoin and then it falls 5% down to 55,000 or whatever and he panics sell. 
So you're gonna get a lot of volatility. I need you guys to be very, very patient, very, very methodical in this market and don't panic. Now, speaking of altcoins, we've seen altcoins lag. We've seen Bitcoin do a lot better than the altcoins, but I have opened up a new altcoin trade. I was just sat there taking that trade. I shared that with our Telegram community. Make sure you're there, jazzcrypto.com forward slash TG, link is in the description. Go check out which altcoins I'm trading and how I do my setups, right? Because this trading stuff works. I don't take leverage. I don't go long. I trade the market. Anytime you talk to people about crypto trading, they think, oh, scammer. It's like, yeah, there are scammers in the space, but there are also people going to actually trade the market. It's not easy, but you can do it. And I've proved that by sharing every single one of my trades. Nothing to hide. Jump into the Telegram community. See every single one of the trades I've taken, including stop losses. Nothing to hide. What do I need to prove to you guys? Right? I don't need to prove anything. I just want to show people that actually want to become traders that it's possible. What, do you think all these traders at investment banks where I used to work are not trading? Of course they can trade. It's just difficult. You've got to manage your risk and you've got to be smart with your money. Right? So if you want to trade, if you want to learn how to trade, if you want to learn TA, make sure you're part of this community. I share daily TA updates regardless of where I'm in the world. If I'm sat in the UK, in my studio, if I'm here, if I'm traveling, if I'm on a plane, it doesn't matter. I'll give you the updates as and when it matters. And right now, Bitcoin is at a crucial, crucial level. If we break through 69,000, something really important happens. This is called price discovery, guys. Price discovery. What does price discovery mean? Well, price discovery means exactly that. We're now in uncharted territory on Bitcoin after 69,000, right? Uncharted territory. So how far we can go, where we can go, it's all up for grabs after 69,000. There's no TA to say, oh, look, there's resistance at 80. No, there's not. Bitcoin could go and decide what it wants to be worth against other asset classes. Then we're going to have to start looking at gold. We're going to have to start looking at silver. We're going to have to start looking at other commodities and say, how does Bitcoin stack up? Can we get to the market cap of some of those? Because money is flowing in. Institutions are flowing in. ETFs are starting to stock up Bitcoin and it's having an effect. And we're getting closer and closer to a halving. This could be the time where we actually hit an all-time high before the halving, which would be crazy. That would just be crazy. You can just imagine if we hit an all-time high before the halving, what's going to happen afterwards? And this could be a really powerful, explosive altcoin season as well attached to that. Now, for you guys, if you, you know, I see get a lot of messages asking when are all coins going to get moved, when are they going to move? And I know exactly why you're saying that, because you didn't eat your veg. In this community, what do I say all the time? Eat your veg, have some Bitcoin, have some Ethereum. Yeah, when times are fun and all coins are exploding, everybody's so excited. But then Bitcoin, Ethereum always have their moments and they're having it right now, which is exactly why for months and months and months, I was screaming down this lens saying, guys, eat your veg, eat your veg, eat your veg, get some Bitcoin, Ethereum, because when they move, they will move and all coins will pause but they'll move afterwards, right? So if you want portfolio to be green all the time, you want it, you know, when Bitcoin's moving, you want to take advantage. And when all coins are moving, you also take advantage. You've got to have a diversified portfolio. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you appreciate this type of content, live, direct, no kind of fancy editing, etc. You've got to smash the likes. You've got to subscribe. Make sure you're in our Telegram community, jazzcrypto.com forward slash TG. I'll keep bringing you these updates. Make sure in the Telegram, because in the Telegram, I'm sharing all types of research. When my team of researchers share different insights with me, I'm sharing them in the chat with you guys as well, as well as my next altcoin trades and how I'm actively profiting from this market. You can see it full, uncensored, unedited. You can see all of it in the Telegram community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.